What I'm doing today, all right, is that these rubber mat things I cut out of some uh, three mil checker plate and I've got my template. There it is. It's a cut off scaffold tube. I'm cutting a hole in the middle and we're putting these under the guy points in the field so when the mower comes along, you know, it does a nice job. So I've got my Sharpie. And then we'll go outside and fit these. And let me, I'll cut the first hole and then we've got a big one as well. And then we'll cut the second hole. So the middle of that, these are 40. So the middle of that is there. And the middle of that is there. And there's my middle, there. Middle. I'm going to cut the hole a little bit short. Checker plate, rubber, not expensive. I bought too much by accident. That's the sort of thing I do. I have a lot of accidents. So I'm gonna, I, what I've learned, and we've already, I put one out about a month ago to see how it works, is uh, I cut the hole a little bit small than I need it to be. Once you get through, the whole thing just starts to peel off. Maybe I should shut up. And do that. I can't see what I'm bloody doing with this blade. I've already changed it once. It was easier the last time I did this. Right, I wonder if I can just peel it now. Oh. All right, got the hang of it now. There we go. Oop. And then out in the field, we'll just put some little notches, if you know what I mean. Let's go outside and fit this stuff. Goodness, that shackle was just about to come undone. That's amazing. Oh, blind. That's amazing because <laughs> this one here, look, was nearly undone. I've just done it up a bit. That's finger trouble, that's not a shackle. That's me being an ass. So now there will be a scaffold pole here one day, but uh, I'll just make the adjustment now. And a mower can come along, you see, and uh, go over that fine. Oh, like a glove. Just to let you know the camera's on. Okay, I'm going in a minute. Alright. I'll have to leave the dogs here. Oh yes, of course. You can leave them with Lockie. Yeah. See you later. Okay, bye. Alright, so gotta make sure. Ah, oh, these are on these are on shackles. That's a bit easier. Right there. Yeah. 
you know, when you put something down, oh, it's probably under here. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Good. I've just thought I've already done the middle one. Okay. Just enough and no more. It's to stop the base moving around. That's all this is for. Ooh, what do we do? The coax. I'm worried about the coax now. Oh, that's okay. It's just to stop the base moving around. You know, it's not self supporting, yeah? I think we need some little doobries. It's got to fit not over the scaffold tube, it's actually got to fit over the bigger piece. Yeah, <coughs> it goes in there somewhere. There it is. Okay, all right, so then we'll put it up. I reckon that will go flat in time ish. I've got a better idea. Put one big long one in. And then and we'll pull it over the bolt. There we are. And pop it back down. Now we're in. Not so that can go. A bit lumpy there. I will stand on it. Actually, I think it's just root, root stuff. Right, so that can go back up. I've reserved the big piece for this one here. Blimey, I didn't realize that was at such a tension. All right, we'll deal with that as well. So that's the one I put in about a month ago as a test. And then the mower can just, you know, go around. Could do with some conductive grease, probably, these. I've got some in the shop, actually. Right, so this whole thing should pop off. That'll be... Put that back up. So, where are we? These, unless I put them up through holes, could do that, actually. Oh, probably too short. We'll find out in a minute. Uh, it needs to be big enough to clear that. So let's start off with a bit of a square. Eyeball. And then we've got to somehow recover the ground straps. Forgot about them. <laughs> Bit of weed killer, get rid of that. Put it back up, then we can play grounds. Just the thought, we've got to, um, got to put the 12.4 up after, put this little tri band ver vertical up. So on the one hand, it's easier with two cameras. On the other hand, you walk, gotta walk around picking them up, you know?
Well, I will now we're going to work out the best way of getting these grounds up to here. Oh, that one fits. But I might just have to remember that to drop this over, I've got to undo the grounds, if you know what I mean. Well, I'll put that one there, I think. I've just got so much to do. And you, you know, when you get completely swamped in your mind, what's to do and what not, what's not to do. I'm at that stage at the moment, so I've just got to, if I can do something in two hours, I have to. You know, you've just got a little bit too much coax. Well, that's what we've got. And there's not a lot I can do about it right now. I'm doing it. Right, it's going like that. Whether you like it or not. Well, I think that will protect the ground now. I think it looks really neat. Coax is a bit kind of miles away, but at least when the mower comes out now, you know, we're not going to be. Uh, well, it should do a better job at cutting it. That's, that's basically it. Uh, well, I'll show you the problem over here. Uh, I've got another camera going somewhere. There it is. Let me switch that one off, shall we? Amazing, this GoPro is still working. It normally overheats. Whatever. So you can see that it's a bit of a job. I can't just undo those guys because you know it's the full nine yards to tilt this thing over but uh we'll we'll do that probably next week because there's a load of upgrades i want to do the tower anyway for instance i've got the new gs 2800 to replace the 450 that works it really works uh which is quite surprising uh, and i thought it had broken but it's not broken and you probably can't see this because of the light but there's a joiner up there that joins the two poles together and it's got a bit of fiberglass between the two because this was going to be completely insulated but now what i'm thinking of doing is put, put a little bit of steel here then we'll put the joiner and the fiberglass about there and then we'll load this top and make it 80 meters so if we've got 80 meters over there as well and 80 meters here we've got phased array for 80. Now I've done the modeling and uh, the maths are suggesting that putting this inside the four square makes no difference on 40. Might do it on 80 I don't know. All right so from here at uh, the antenna field and all my absolutely baloney that I get up to I'll see you see you soon I'm gonna fly my drone now all the best. <laughs>